Boxing may have won the battle, but MMA won the war because there was one true winner out of tonight, and that guy was Francis Ngannou. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. Boxing versus MMA might have ended with the boxer winning on the scorecards, but did he actually win this fight? Or was it the second time in the space of a few weeks that a Fury has been gifted a decision in a boxing match that they did not deserve to win? We'll talk a little about it here. So the judges' scorecards were 95-94 Fury, 96-93 Fury and 95-94 Ninganu. Now when they read out there was two 95-94 cards, I just automatically thought Ninganu had won. Because I scored it 5-5. Five, five. I gave Ninganu 5 rounds. I gave Fury 5 rounds. And with the 10-8, that makes it 95-94. So I just assumed that when it was 95-94 on two scorecards, Ninganu was going to be given the victory. But it turns out the last judge actually gave it 6 rounds to 4 for Tyson Fury, which makes obviously 95-94 with the 10-8 round. Now, people will say robbery, people are screaming this. Eddie Hearn is saying Ninganu won by multiple rounds. I don't see that. What i seen was a close fight. Now, we can claim Tyson Fury was shit. We can claim that Ninganu was good. But what we can't claim is that it wasn't a close fight, because it was. It was a close fight, extremely close. I don't think there's more than a round or a two rounds max in it. Now, what I will say is, I think some of the rounds that Tyson Fury won were clear rounds for Tyson Fury, whereas Ninganu didn't really win that many clear rounds. He had, obviously, the 10-8 in round three, and in round eight, he had a pretty good round that I don't think you can give to Fury, but I would say outside of round three and round eight, there's no other round that you can look at it and go that Ninganu definitely won that round, whereas Fury had four rounds, in my opinion, that he definitely won. However, the rounds that were close, I do favour Ninganu in because he was throwing more power punches, he was being the aggressor, I think he was landing the better shots, I mean, he was landing more power punches, Fury was going for more jabs. I just think Ninganu did win the close rounds. I think I gave Ninganu round 4, I gave Ninganu round 7, and I gave Ninganu the last round. But looking at round 2, round 2 was also very close, but I think you have to give Fury round 1, Round 5, Round 6, and Round 9. You can't give those rounds to Ninganu. So, Fury definitely won four rounds. So, Eddie Hearn saying that he gave the other six to Ninganu, which is a bit of a stretch, to be honest. But I, I certainly think Ninganu did well enough in this fight to be given five rounds. In my opinion, he definitely won two. And I think there's another three out of the, like, six even rounds that you can give, or the four even rounds, sorry, that you can give Ninganu. I think if you can give him three of the four even rounds, then you can give him the win here, fair point, because it's 5-5, five, five, and obviously he would win with the knockdown. So, I mean, it was a close fight. Ninganu did better than I expected, but Tyson Fury looked absolutely shit. Even the punch that knocked him down, it wasn't a big punch, and if this Tyson Fury fought Usyk, then he would get absolutely schooled. It would be an easy night for Usyk, and this fight could be done. I don't know if we're going to get Fury versus Usyk now. I wouldn't be surprised if Fury underperformed so he can have a rematch with Ninganu and get out of the Usyk fight, because that's the kind of man that Fury is. He will not fight Usyk after this. So we'll see what happens, but for me it was a close fight. I'll, I'll break it down a bit more tomorrow when I rewatch it, but right now I've got it 5-5 five, five and I, I can change that, obviously. I think Fury definitely won four rounds and I think Ninganu definitely won two. And it's just about how you split up the other four. So I can see, I think 6-4 Fury's fair. I think 5-5 five, five is fair. I think, it's, I think that's it. I think it's either... Probably 6-4 Fury or 5-5 five, five, Ninganu. I don't think Ninganu won more rounds than Fury. But again, with the knockdown, he didn't need to. All he needed to do was tie. And in my opinion, he done that. So, yeah. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. We'll break it down tomorrow. We'll discuss whether or not Ninganu was robbed. But that's it. Fog Wrestling. Catch you in the next one. Leave your comments down below. Let me know. Do you think Francis Ninganu won this fight? Or did Fury do enough to get the scorecard decision? Let me know. Catch you in the next one. Peace.